cave escape, Smart the Dragon God! Welcome back to Brohack! Welcome Hello. back to Stories of Joey and Jeremy's D&D campaign. Dungeons and Dragons stories with Clay. And now Kirby. we're following. One story per episode, and this right. one is... All right. Smart. This is smart. This one This one requires a little, a little bit of set, story. Set so same, all right, first of all, same characters. Yeah. We're in a different world now. We yeah, because, because we basically got fed up with that world. We got fed up with that world, and we wanted to do a, a different story because that, that was essentially the um, the D and D starter set, and they, we, I felt like it could have been a better story. Yeah. if we had made our own. So we made a new, our own story, and we were we called it Subralia. There was key pieces and to like a, a wish thing, and eventually there was a mind flare overlord that started an army of Yuan Ti, which are snake people. Okay. Sneeple, no. as so, I like to call them. The there's way, so many the way it, races I've never heard. Of. Oh yeah, no, they're 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 sure. really weird snake people because they can have like <laughs> they just they human, have human they can legs, have, but like, a snake human head legs and a snake head or like a human body and a giant snake. Dude, tail. I was or, fucking kidding. Or, I didn't think that was or the case. rarely snakes for Com arms. Completely <laughs> human but snake arms. <laughs> is that just like a hereditary thing? Is it could be. Like, it I mean, could be. It's know possible. What? Anything is Good. possible in the world of D and D. Of course, it's great. So if I if I may. A little hey, bit of the back, a little bit of the background. So this, um, this, uh, this mind flayer overlord, he uh, is basically trying to raise an army of the dead uh, using as you do. What it? What is it? A, uh, essentially, a, an elder brain. An elder brain and a portal to oblivion. Yeah, basically, it's a portal to like what is the underworld. Oh, don't in, act in like you don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he's using this creature ca called an elder brain, which is very, very psychically uh, adept. Um, and so, we as the, the group of heroes have to kind of basically fend him off, uh, in order for our quest to get completed. So, as he's marching towards the capital of this, uh, country, we're readying our armies. Okay. That sounds awful. Wait, and where'd you get all your armies from? Did you just, like, rally them from They the rallied the different oh, kingdoms that's, and... That's a really good short story. So, I'm a barrier. Uh, which is basically a centaur with horns, and at the beginning of the campaign, right at the beginning of the campaign, the High King was like, "I need you guys to help me," and I was, and me as as my character, I was like, "Well, how are we gonna do that if we can't get anywhere?" And I I rolled a persuasion check to get him to sign something that told us we were on a mission from the king. And anyone who opposed them will be executed immediately. And I critted my roll. Oh my god. So he gave me a, a signed letter that said I had complete political autonomy. <laughs> and he also gave me the seal of the High King. Good. Which meant that I could basically do anything I wanted and not get in trouble for it. Which was bullshit. Which was bullshit, but it was great. It was a good kind of bullshit. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I was like, I need all of your armies... By order of the High King, and everyone was like, "Well, fuck. okay, well, fuck." <laughs> what? I mean, so, so, I'm not gonna I mean, argue with that. When the fate of the entire continent hangs in the balance, you're gonna listen to the man with horns and a seal from the king. Exactly. He so, seems trustworthy. So, <laughs> we we got a, a, a fuck ton of people for our army, and we set up at this crossroads. Um, and. By the end of it, we were fighting, what, like 7,000 undead? Oh 7,000 undead, an undead Yuan-Ti, yeah. and an undead dragon. Mm. Mind you, they also had a dragon of their own on their side. Yeah, and... we, we had a dragon, they had an undead dragon. We had, I think, like 900 men. They had 7,000. Good. <laughs> and and keep in mind that our DM wanted to kill us. <laughs> he was like, you're all gonna die, your characters are gonna die, that's the, gonna be the oh, end yeah, of this I, game. Oh yeah, I did a campaign with that. And we're like, no, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, we're gonna roll all so, twice. So this is what happens. Alright, so the undead dragon's actually important to this. Oh yeah. Smorph, yeah. In, in total, is a combination of Janet, from the last story, uh -huh. Janet, and the dwarf, if you don't remember. A new character... Who was also a bard named uh, well, Vlad. Vlad. Vlad Treehugger. He was a communist hippie. Of course. And he was a furbolg. Of which course is he was. Essentially a communist hippie. <laughs> He's, uh, he was also part Giant. Redundant, but you know. That's actually literally what they are. My name is Communist Hippie. I'm a communist hippie. He was essentially he was essentially a, uh, a half giant druid kind of guy. Oh. Um, but he wasn't a druid, he was a, a bard. Yes. 
I had, give, I had given him a magical item called uh, the Dragon Pipe, where he could expend charges from it, and instead of smoking out of it, he could blow through it and expel Dragon's Fire. Oh my god. Yeah, was, I, I liked that I liked that one. That was, it was a fun one that I made up. Um, so, like halfway through... Halfway through this Good battle, job, Casey. they're Thanks. sitting back at their camp, and most of them go out and go fight. The dragon, the undead dragon, has just been re-slain. It had been revived before. <laughs> revived and oh slain. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So now okay. it's un undead. We'll tell the story of the god mouse next episode. It's double dead. So the um, the dwarf walks up and thinks, "Okay, we don't want this dragon coming back again." And he makes a strength check and he rips the head off of the dragon. Undead. He's the <laughs> dragon's dead, man. This is, it's still Some massive. Some tells me that wouldn't be too difficult considering he's like rotting flesh, but you know. Yeah, that, that's but it's fine. still a massive. Still, still impressive. Holding a dragon skull. Yes. Yeah. So after he rips that off, the whole battle's still going on. Everyone's at the front line. Yeah, he's he's, he's just, like back like <laughs> two hundred feet, just dis dismembering this dead dragon. The next oh, thing he wants to do is he wants to go for the wings, and he rips off each wing with one hand. And then he finally thinks, after like 30 minutes into real real time into the battle, it had to be a couple hours in game, he's like, huh, I should go help out the front line. So he puts the dragon skull on his head. Oh my god. Has a dragon wing in each arm and drags it behind him like a toddler with a blanket. Good. And walks to the front lines of the battle. So, so <laughs> as this is happening, my character, who's Janet's identical twin. Of course. Um, the Barriar. Yeah, the Barriar turns around and he sees Janet and he's like I like what I have an idea yeah he's like what are you doing and Janet's like don't worry I have an idea because the mind flare flying over the battlefield with the elder brain was trying to get to a specific place from the continent it was a it was essentially a college of winterhold kind of deal mm -hmm. a magical college with a very powerful magical feel to it and he could use any kind of magic he wanted and send it all over the continent. So he was going to use Mind Blast and put it all over the continent and affect everyone. Like, just cripple the entirety of the army. Mm -hmm. So as the Elder Brain is flying over there, Janet and... Janet and Bond, the barrier, think of one idea. Janet, I'm going to take you, pick you up, and throw you over there. He wanted to fly. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> he wanted to fly on dead dragon wings over at least a couple miles to the college. No, we established Ooh. that it was four miles. <laughs> it was four mile throw. So as as I'm like as I'm like galloping towards throwing him. Before this happens too. The furball oh, Vlad yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. says, I wanna climb inside the dragon skull. <laughs> Just, just like, like, like a Trojan horse sort of. Yeah, you know? basically. But so, like, that's not even a check. He just did it. He just climbed in there. <laughs> okay. Just like, sure, what why not? Sprays. So most of the dwarf is covered in this dragon. He is holding with his life. The oh two yeah, the dwarf wings. had to make a check to hold, like, see if his neck snapped <laughs> from the weight of the head. What if it? Because he, though? like, he put the well, head. This story would be his head. Would have ended. Yeah, that story would have been really sad. <laughs> he was. Yes, holding. we finally. I have an dragon. idea. <laughs> Well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Rip. Oh, shit. Nah, Holding on to dear life, nah, both of these nah. dragon wings. And Bond throws him. He rolls like a 25. <laughs> oh my god. I was so strong. <laughs> Janet rolls like a 23. But th this was like normal rolls of like 17 with massive bonuses. Yeah. And he was able to hold on to the wings, hold on to everything, and they flew all the way there. <laughs> for Some four say miles. still flying to this day. Ooh. No, 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 no. <laughs> they <laughs> definitely landed. They reached their destination. They definitely landed. So, as they get there, they see the Elder Brain is beginning to wrap around the top of the college to hold it and to amplify the power even further. And they fly around the top of it. <laughs> and Vlad remembers that he has the dragon pipe. <laughs> and he says, I want to expend all 20 charges of the dragon pipe at once. No, 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 no. You can't. So, so, here's the thing about the dragon pipe. The dragon when pipe? you expend a charge, it does a certain number of dice damage. Oh, one yes. charge is one d10. So d10. when you So when you expend multiple charges, it does multiple d10. Keep in mind, the more charges you expend, the higher chance the pipe shatters under the immense amount of power. 
So he wanted to expend all 20 charges of it at once. Now, at, th at this point, the DM probably asked, are you fucking insane? Yes, I did! <laughs> exact words. Yes! Good. Are you fucking insane? <laughs> Actually, so I think you just looked at him and said, why? <laughs> why do you do this? Anyway. <laughs> Vlad rolls for the rolls to hit. He gets a 19 plus like three, so he hits, and he rolls 10 d 10. Oh no! Guess how much damage he ends up doing. Is it nine? Is it 100? Uh, but wait, can I guess? Mm -hmm. Over 9,000. Close. It was actually 172. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's you were D and D. It might as well be. Did you see 10 d 10s? 10 d 10s. Yeah. Oh, sorry, not 10. He, it's 20 charges. 1 d 10 each. He rolled 20 d 10. Wow, my Christ. bad. Yeah, he he did over 150 damage to it, which, mind you, it's the the Elder Brain's maximum health was 173. Oh, oh. he was one damage off. Oh my so, god! As Smorf, a dragon head and wings with, with the small with the, with the small with the dangling plate. body of with a the body of a dwarf. dwarf. Opens its <laughs> jaw, and you see a, a giant reach out with a pipe and exhale a tornado of white flame all over this thing. Ooh. Completely engulfing this massive brain and the college. Thankfully, the college had a magical barrier input, because it's a magical college. Right. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> it's going to be fireproof. But the whole thing is engulfed in a white, whirling tornado. And as the Elder Brain falls after being crippled with all this damage, so does Smorf. <laughs> Janet begins to lose grip. <laughs> and now, with certain bonuses and certain things that the monk, with the, uh, no, the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the, the dwarf. The, no, not the dwarf. The fur, but that Vlad had. The he was able, yeah. yeah, he was able to actually make it down to the ground safely. This was a good 120 foot drop. Oh no. How much and damage? The dwarf said, No, I don't want your help. I'll do it by myself. Yeah, he rolled an emotion die. <laughs> For some reason. Emotion because die. he didn't know what Dude. he wanted like he didn't know what his character wanted to do. Wow. You just <laughs> Sorry, fucked, you completely <laughs> fucked up that. Good job. Thank um, you. He Can't draw, just wait. He didn't know what his character wanted to do. Can't draw so... for shit? Don't play the game! <laughs> <laughs> just sit there, take a coloring book and sit in the corner. Here's a paint by colors adventure kit. So I was like, I was like, I was like, John, just roll my emotion die. Because Jeremy had a die that just had a whole bunch of faces and emotions on it. Oh, fuck you! I didn't mean So, to. John rolled the angry face and he said, no, I'll do it myself. Janet then proceeded <laughs> to. Roll, fail rolling on his grip and lost control of one of the wings. And his last ditch effort was to curl up in a. He's spiraling out of control. So he curls up in a ball inside of the skull of the dragon, braces himself, and hopes for the best. Oh god. The best doesn't come. And I did. <laughs> Janet was such a fun character and so interesting with his ideas and his interactions that I didn't want to outright kill him. Mm -hmm. So I put it in his hands and I gave him a coin. I told him heads mean heads means he lives, tails means he dies. Janet had forty health, and if for <coughs> in order for you to die outright in D and D, you need to roll. You need to be put negative your maximum. So he needed to be put at negative so forty to die out. Basically, yeah, you need to take double your health. This fall would have done one hundred and twenty damage to him. Uh huh. I gave him a coin. He flipped it, it flies in the air, lands on the table, heads up. So he's at negative 39, and oh. <laughs> out of the dragon skull, peeks an arm trembling. <laughs> and he gives a thumbs up. Of oh, oh oh course he does! <laughs> and he, uh, it immediately uh, falls to the ground, he falls unconscious. <laughs> and Vlad's like, Oh, thanks for killing me, Casey. Sorry about that. I want to heal him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think he's, he's okay. I want to heal him. He should be Fuck it off! Meanwhile, how the, how oh, the Elder Brain... Oh, you're fine! How the Elder Brain actually dies is <coughs> our other party member, our Mouse Folk, just takes a dagger and stabs it. It had one health It had left. one health. could have thrown a rock at him! He fucking poked it and it died. 
I'm just As gonna. Well, I mean, honestly, it, it's the best. The best course of action is to and kill it, it as quickly as possible. Yeah. No after at, and after the flaming tornado, the pipe shatters into multiple pieces. Because I told oh, you, the pipe's gone. No, the, yeah, the pipe is completely destroyed. You right. spent all of the charges at once, and there was so much magical energy and power surging through it that it just shattered. It's just like a stick, like the very end that you put in your mouth. That's all that was left. Man, they should have used the stick to stab him. <laughs> I told him, I'm sorry, but this is how it happens. And he's like, I would have this go no other way. That was amazing. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the actual battle, I've created trebuchets. And we're just oh, oh, launching oh, trebuchets. Excuse me. Trebuchets. We're just Explain. launching rocks at the enemy. A trebuchet? Yes. What is a trebuchet? Yeah, that thing that's kind of like a catapult, but not... Oh. Ow! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're la launching flying boulders at it, they're defeating the army, the Mind Flayer dies, and all is well. And it's all because of Smorf the dragon. The head and wings of an undead brass dragon. Fuck! Go, go, go. Sorry. The innards of a fearbold with a pipe, and the body of a fat dwarf. Who almost died? Who, who nearly died? Who, 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 the who, only who. reason he didn't die is because I had a soft spot, and I I decided to put his life in his hands. That is pretty pretty great. What what a story, my God! <laughs> what a story, Mark. I'm sorry, I saw this story. <laughs> <laughs> that was Smart. pretty good. Smart. Yeah, they they Smart. wanted to come up with a name for it. Oh, oh, sorry, I was wondering if that was a name for. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, the, the guy or like the um, the dragon. It was stuff. it was their fusion hot dragon form. <laughs> yeah, fusion oh, we, should, we should we should tell the we should tell the story of um, me, uh, John and Porter's fusion hot at the end oh, of the that, campaign. That's not really more of a story. That's just like at the end of the campaign after all this ended, they got a wish and they're like, I want to be able. to... We want to fusion into a massive dragon. No, there was there was more to it. They were able to devour souls. They went into like oblivion, devoured a bunch of souls, got uber powerful, and all was well in the world because he was yeah. now the king. And they murdered an entire city except for the one guy in that city they liked. Oh yeah. That that one guy, he was a goblin. He ran all of the shops at once. Every at single once. shop. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. There's always one. All of, of the build all of the buildings were connected, and he just ran through the back. <laughs> you said yeah. you wanted a potion. Okay, hold on. <laughs> he was never out of breath. I guess I'm like, I have no. iron armor in the back. Just give me like he's like five so, seconds. So was, basically, yeah, he's yeah. Hot yeah. from American Dad. Kinda. It was it was a set. It was essentially like he was he had clones of himself, but he didn't. It was just him. He ran back and forth it, really quickly. He was just completely fine. The only reason we killed that entire um, city was because we really really hated the queen. They didn't like the queen. The queen <laughs> was a bit of a bitch. The queen right. was a bit of but a then bitch. The gob but now the goblin is the king, the shop owner, and every and lives in every one of he these houses to be at the same time. time. One at once. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's living he's the lives only, for them. He's the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> They're all dead, Casey! Maybe he can reproduce through mitosis. I mean, he has a family. <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't family. kill his they, family. They, they, le they left his Is they he, left is he everyone family. in his family? Okay. Oh, it was oh, him, just, his wife, and his daughter. Good, good Is he okay. his wife and his daughter also? Well, next time on Bro Hive, um, what's More the next story? I have no idea what the next story is, but I'll think of something. Okay. Right. We have a lot of them. Next time on Bro Hive. Woo!